This is an introduction to the Diagnosis Espion Ophthalmic Electrophysiology System. This introduction is designed to briefly familiarize viewers with the basics of running a test. This patient is being prepared for a multifocal ERG. First, we apply the corneal electrodes. DTLs have many advantages. They are well tolerated in patients of all ages without anesthetic and can be worn comfortably with good electrical stability for many hours. The DTL fiber should be draped so that it lies along the margin of the lower lid, as seen here. Next, a ground electrode is applied. Though electrically the same, the wrist location is more comfortable for the patient than the forehead. Finally, the reference electrode is applied. Temporal placement is recommended for the multifocal ERG, but ear clips work just as well. Now the patient is ready to test. Begin a test by pressing the Start button. If the patient is a new patient, press New in the lower left to enter patient details. Data may be entered on a standard keyboard or on the on-screen touchscreen keypad. Click the patient's name to select it, then click Protocols to move to the Protocol menu. Select the appropriate test and then press Run. The instrument is now ready to test. The prepared patient is shown seated in front of the equipment. The LCD monitor used to display the multifocal stimulus is in the foreground and the control unit is in the back, or on the cart. To connect the patient to the equipment, connect the ground electrode first and then the corneal and the reference electrodes. The wires on the extender cables provided with the equipment are labeled for easy use. Once connected and seated comfortably, the patient sits with their chin on the chin rest and fixates on the stimulus pattern presented on the screen. There are several available size options for hexagon pattern stimuli, but the most widely used is the 61 hex, as shown here. Instruct the patient to fixate on the red X mark in the center of the screen and to try not to blink. To run the test, press the Run button in the lower left. The top half of the screen shows active responses being acquired by the equipment, and the lower half shows the traces being formed into readable results. This test takes a minimum of four minutes to complete, and is broken down into shorter intervals for patient comfort. Note that the traces on the bottom of the screen become readable about one quarter of the way through the test. Once the test is complete, you can see the trace array, color and group display, and 3D plot of the results acquired. Accessing a patient's old record for editing or printing purposes is simple. Press Start to enter the patient list. If the patient's name is not readily available, you can jump straight to it by typing it in the search field in the lower left. Once the patient is selected, Press Old Tests to view the list of the patient's prior test records. Select the appropriate test record, then press Load. From this screen, you can change the size of the traces, alter the 3D plot, Label the color display and otherwise edit the test results to improve accuracy and readability. Once the, the test results shown in this video are real responses obtained at the time of filming from the subject depicted. 
For further information, please contact the specialists at Diagnosis LLC through diagnosisllc.com. Thank you for watching this presentation.